Hey guys, it's NCS Fan here, welcoming you back to the Destroy All Humans 2 walkthrough, part 10. Last time we destroyed the nukes after a bit of a glitchiness, but anyway. You said it! Get an update on the Arboodle Cult. Oh no, membership has been falling off. Not good. What kind of accent is that supposed to be in the first place? I don't even... I don't know. I mean, whatever. <laughs> like, whatever. Oh yeah, this mission. It's not... It's not the most difficult thing ever. Let's see if I can get... There we go. Just don't suck him up. I've done that before. I've done that before. I have actually sucked up the person I was supposed to Gary before, and it, it's not fun. Oh crap, I just hit him. Okay, so we only have to get a hundred. You can't usually get more than about 15 people per thing. Shoot. Do not want to get hit by that. You usually can't get more than about 15 in one spot. Hey, you know what? Shut up! I rhymed it too! Uh, the, the, the stuff he says is just so incredibly stupid. Alright, we're doing pretty well so far. Uh, let's go this way. Rest and... What did he say? Blast? Oh, yeah, I get it. I wish he would say a few different things instead of just that. Yeah, slowly you're gonna lose people when you go away. But you've got, like, five minutes to do this, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Just as long as you don't suck your guy up or get shot down or something. Ow. Saucer can't take being hit by trees. Well, actually it can, but whatever. People want to make tax-deductible donations to the Arvudo cult. Great work. I'll say so myself. Shut up. Alright. Oh, come on, we only need one more. One more. Is he saying blessed or blast? Can't really tell. Yeah, that's right. That's the end of that. <laughs> what a great way to end on. <laughs> okay. Eight bonus Furitex cells. Not too bad at all. So, with that, we have no more missions remaining in Bay City that we can get to yet. We still have three more odd jobs that won't appear until later. Obviously, all the fear tech cells and artifacts to collect. We'll get that a little bit later. Uh, only one more cult mission. Okay. So, since we've done that, uh, first let's see what we can buy. Okay, we've only got those eight, so I'm not sure if we can actually afford anything. Uh... Yeah, there's nothing really worth buying at this point. Alright, we've done everything on the gene blends also. Cool. Okay, time to head off to Albion. Yeah, this is the Navicon that takes you to different locations around the world. Okay, Albion. You can probably guess where it is if you didn't listen last episode. And sorry about how the camera is. Tripod's a little bit off. I'm not going to go into details about that, but... Whatever, as long as it still works, as long as it might be a little bit curved for a long time, but hey, uh, don't worry about it. That probably wasn't the best choice of words, was it? Ah, oh, Albion. Oh, Albion. There's a lot of stuff uh, we have to get here, as you expect the KGB agent. So we need uh, a lot of people. We'll worry about that a little bit later, though. <laughs> Good for you to know that, Pox. Like, how would you know that? Like, are you secretly spying on all the English natives or something? Okay. Let's go. 
Okay, so we have to go and find and then kill Orange Hop. No, Pox, please. We're British. Okay. If I remember correctly, it's somewhere near Hyde Park, but I'm not 100% sure. Dang, we have a, we start out with a lot of landing zones in this area. Uh, scan. They're so ugly compared to the ones in Bay City. Well, actually, none of them are attractive at all. Yep, High Park Tunnel. Goodbye. Alright, so now we know where to go. I think as you upgrade your health, it will actually uh, upgrade the health that you do in Body Snatch. I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but it seems like it does. Okay, we're going the right way now. So we're going to have some landing zones to unlock. We can do that after this first mission, though. Yeah, after we finish the first mission, we'll actually start some exploration-related stuff. You may want to upgrade the saucer's health at some point, because it's kind of on low health. Oh, hey, there it is. I will say, one thing about Albion that I really hate is that it is by far the hardest place to search for Furitech cells. I mean, Base City, just due to the layout of Base City, is actually really easy to search. This is not, because just look at the map real quick. Like, yeah, the lower part's not too difficult to search, but this upper part takes just so freaking long to search for Furitech cells. Like Alright, anything down there? Crash tunnel. Goodbye. So, plans A through C fail. Good for them. I do love some of the random comments that everyone in this game makes. I mean, I don't care what anyone says. Sometimes they're funny, well, sometimes they are not. Ooh, he's on fire. Cool. I do know in Albion, we only unlocked maybe like... T no, we, I think we unlocked three new weapons. One for the saucer, two for the ground. The one for the... So oh yeah, here's the first one. I don't know how it ended up down in the subway, but whatever. So head in here, uh, you don't want to walk through that green stuff, it'll kill you pretty quickly. The anal probe! Yay! We get to probe people's anuses! Yay! Okay, uh... Okay, yeah, we know what to do. Anyway. Ooh, yeah, that green stuff is painful. Okay, so the anal probe. It is an instant kill weapon on humans, and... It's going to be more useful for a type of enemy we fight later in this level, though. That's when it's actually going to be effective. Actually, you know what? Let's show it off now. Uh-oh, run away, run away! And your brain pop out! Uh, later in the in Albion, we'll be able to collect their brains to do a uh, Fear on Ability. But we have not yet learned that Fear on Ability, and we won't learn it till quite a bit later through the area. Actually, I believe in the next-to-last mission, for that matter. Okay, we have a battle here. It is the first of two boss fights in Albion, who I would probably consider to be the easiest boss in the entire game, for that matter. Agent Orenshaw. So he has his crappy little pistol compared to our gigantic zap gun. zap I'm kind of in a hurry, and between That gun doesn't have ammo, so shut up. Okay, so he turns into an infected human. The infected humans can be turned back to normal by being shot by the anal probe, which makes it quite effective, which means then it's going to be even easier to hurt him. Then all he attacks with there is that, uh, his pistol. Otherwise, the infected humans have, like, a radioactive spitting attack that you might have seen him firing. Not a big deal. You can take him out without that. I mean, it's, I think he's invincible while he's transforming. But you can just run around in a circle and take him out like that. See? Already done. Easiest boss in the game. I guess technically there is a boss in uh, the fourth area that I wasn't really thinking of that well. I wouldn't necessarily consider him to be a boss. Maybe more of a mini-boss. I don't know, because you're going to find a lot more of him in the game. I guess... I call him a mini-boss. Okay, so who's this? I know you, 
forgive me, it seems best simply to stand clear and give you room to do what you do so well. These circuits are rather slippery fish. Yes, very slippery indeed, but they do crack. If you'll follow me, Mr. President, I can promise you answers in abundance, shall we? Okay. So, the Englishmen, this is basically their... One of their ripoffs of James Bond. Because they he works for an organization, I think, called M16, which is obviously a parody of MI6 from uh, James Bond. Now, luckily, this is technically an escort mission. However, this guy, his name is actually Ponsonby, does not have a health bar. So, you've got nothing to worry about. Like... If he gets shot, he'll just stare at you kind of weird, but that's it. He has a semi-automatic umbrella gun, which is actually really cool. The secret agents around Albion are pretty much the same as the, uh... Oh, that actually worked pretty well. The secret agents are pretty similar to the, uh, KGB and Albion. They're pretty much the same thing. Uh... Oh, can I not transmog that? I guess I can't. Alright, let's take him out. Kano Probe time. The Kano Probe is actually pre it's a pretty funny attack, but it's not necessarily a useful attack. Because, I mean, you only have a 5-shot clip. It can be upgraded to up to a 9-shot clip, I believe. It's not the most effective weapon, but it's not exactly ineffective. I mean, it's good for turning the infected humans back to normal before you get really well-upgraded guns. So I'm not going to diss its ability. It's actually pretty effective. All right, let's take these guys out. It's it's supposed to be semi-automatic. It might be fully automatic for all I know. Anyway, uh, let's keep going. You guys stay near him or else he'll just stop for a moment. Hey, man, move faster. Or just not lose your brain when you get shot by the anal probe. Anyway, didn't really know where I was going with that sentence. Walk slow, crypto. Anyway, so we're out, and I think we're automatically just go up here and talk to him. I wonder if we might have a little chat now. Yeah, sure. I ain't in my presidential disguise. How do you know who I am? They don't call it British intelligence for nothing. <laughs> okay, you got my attention. Who the hell are you? Reginald Ponsonby Smythe, at your service. Yep, yeah, M16, that's pretty much a ripoff of James Bond. Somebody In this line of work, somebody always does. Besides, just because... Aren't you a little overdressed? As Oscar Wilde once said, one should either be a worker or wear a worker up. If you say so... Okay, so anyway, let's skip that. Uh, actually, next mission, we will be introduced to a very important character in the game. Who appears in quite a few missions. Alright, I don't like you. Okay, your suit's stupid. Okay, so six bonus Bureau Tech Cells. That wasn't really a difficult mission in the first place. Now, typically, when you transmog, you'll find Disintegrator Ray Ammo and Anal Probe Ammo, which is those little green brains. Okay, I think now would be a good time to start doing some exploration of, uh, Albion. I'll tell you, there is one data core here that is pretty much completely ineffective. Like, it's it's a saucer weapon, but it's not effective, like, at all. It's called the anti-gravity disc. Uh, we will... It's on top of one of the, uh, gates of the park. I can't remember exactly which one. And, as I said before, it's pretty much not worth going after unless you're going for 100% like I am, so... It's on t okay, that one has a fear tech cell on top. They're easy to reach if you have a fully upgraded jetpack, but you can also reach one with a... If you've upgraded the jetpack once, you can, uh, building hop your way across. I demand vengeance! Those youth keep tapping out the sacred earth pipes of all my holy, even the destructible image. Appease my righteous fury by destroying several of their numbers. Kill six hippies! <clears throat> Excuse me. Kill six hippies! I don't think it... Does it have to be hippies? I can't exactly remember. No, it doesn't. 
Slaughter the hippie kind. I would be... Eric Cartman would love this part of the game. There we go. Eight of six. I don't think you can actually die from touching the wire in this fountain. No, you cannot because it's not deep. What am I, Apollo? Anyway, uh, grab that alien artifact. Very nice. Uh, we're running up on the time limit here, so... I know we didn't get that much done, mainly just one mission. And I guess the game's gonna get a little bit slower from this point on, unfortunately, and I'm not too happy about it happening so slowly. But anyway, next time we will continue on, probably starting to do the side mission. See you guys then.